morning from? Berries. Yeah, we're back. What's the plan? Um, oh, yeah. We're back at Berries. Um, we're at the lintel section again. Can you look? To the left. There you go. Uh, we've got two 4B3s, 2100s, which are not up to the, the job. So we're here to swap them. Double up to the 6B4s, six, six, uh, which you can see next to us here. So we're going to hop out and swap them over and then um, go to the shop and hopefully get a six foot level for my birthday tomorrow and maybe a few other goodies. Let's go. Ah, the receipt's running away. One second. Got it. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Just a bit. Uh, where to put you? Hmm? We'll put you in the van. We'll pop in the uh, pallet anywhere here too. Yeah, we'll pull it up by the wings. Upside down, it's smooth and sliding. Oh, it's too bad actually. No. Getting into the old one, isn't it? Oh yeah. So, quick one, let me show you. So you've got, the other side of these, you've got the 4B3s, little ones. Then you've got the 6B4s. And then, as you drive down a bit and cross over, you've got the uh, nose. Look at the size of them. I think that's a 2700, no, it's a three meter. And that one, that's, got, that's gonna be three meters, 3.3 meters concrete lintel. Imagine how heavy that is. You'd probably be cheaper and easier to put a steel in. That's ridiculous. And then fresh, fresh um, delivery of pad stones. Yeah. Right, let's head back to the bricks. <clears throat> Just a quick one as well. If you need your keystone lintels, berries of the place. Oh yeah. Which as you know, thermal, uh, thermal brake plates, extra tough. Tell you what, let's just film a bit of the Keystone lentils for the video. Oh, just been doing a bit of a filming for a uh, video. That took uh, a long time. I've realised that working on a uh, on a kind of script is very difficult. <laughs> it's like uh, reviving revising for a test. Very. Uh, but we we got that done. So now now we're heading to the bricks. Did you give us that a minute? I'm going to get a photograph. Right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Yeah. Just got back from Berries where we've been nearly three hours because we were doing a bit of recording in the yard and uh, birthday shopping. It's the word. Um, yeah, Robbie's have been and done the cut down, so we're going to do the cut across here now. I'm going to get the grinder, grind out as much as I can, and then knock the rest out. I don't think I'm even going to prop that, because these bricks are that hard and the mortar's that hard. It's going to support itself. Might just put one in the middle. Robbie's have left their gear there for us. So yeah, and uh, while I get this grinder and all that, having a bit of a tidy up, get this place spotless when we leave. Give them the wall straight first. Okay. Just give them the wall straight first. Oh yeah, just getting all the snots off the wall. Yeah. It's quite big beds, so... Um, when you join, it quite a bit of mortar comes out. Yeah, coffee's done. 
Oh, you're getting on for half twelve, half eleven now, so we need to get really get some work done. So, see you in a bit. See you on time lapse for now. It's weird seeing myself. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's all out. That's our lint is going. We're not doing, touching this. We're going to try and take as much of this out from this side as we can. But I can't see if, if the joists is on this wall or not. I'm pretty sure they should do. But um, it's a semi, so maybe they go front to back onto a, a solid wall in the middle. But anyway, we're gonna, these, are, these are hollow blocks. We take the whole back of the blocks out and then we'll, we can prop them then from the other side um, we're going to have to um, sorry alright we're going to have to um, put this link in first so we can take the prop out not that this prop needs to be in this brickwork is solid it's supporting itself so anyway we'll crack on Okay, it is, bear in mind we only got here about half eleven, it is um, ten to two. Now outside's it, out, ready for the lintel, we just got that propped on bricks for now, even if we took that out that's going nowhere, these bricks are solid, sentiment's solid, that'll support itself, but um, obviously it's bad practice to just open it up and put it on YouTube, and have people thinking they can do it. It's all about experience and knowing what's it here. Having taken all those tooths out, I know what kind of state this brick works in, and it's solid. We don't do sand and cement like that anymore. That's like getting on for three to one. It's really hard stuff. With then the brick's like an engineering brick. So the brick side's done. We're just going to take this coarser block out now. I've took the the hollow blocks, so I've took the cavity side out. So we've just got a thin. Thin slither, the front of the block's left in. We'll have to take the full full course out, lintel in, and a course of brick over the top, underneath that course of brick, which is underneath the joist, which we're propping up here. So um, I'm going to come in here now, try and make as little mess as possible, because we haven't got much to cover up in way of uh, dust sheets and stuff, so we'll see how we get on. So that's it. We'll get some of this out now. Big old, ready for two six by four concrete lintels. And of course, we're going to cut some block down. We haven't got any bricks. We're going to cut, of course, and cut the block down to size quicker anyway, and then we'll point the top. So, yeah, on the bed here, on the bed there, and then just go across this inside first. Coursing block on the top, point it up, and then we'll throw the uh, the outside in. So, once, once this is done, we can take the acros down and then um, we can prop that outside. But like I said, that is doing now. So yeah, let's get outside and get a mix on. One lintel. 
in. No idea if you can hear me, but um, it was a bit of a, it was not as bad as uh, I thought it was going to be. In fact, it's not actually mashed up. Yeah, I've just done that now. Not all up. But uh, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting it to be, at least. Heavy. Hmm? It was, heavy. it was heavy. But we've had worse problems with steels before. Yeah. The steel was in lighter. Yeah. But that's one uh, lintel in. It's very weird putting them in this way. It makes, it's like it's weird not having the hole there. But that's one in. Dad's just uh, pointed up the uh, top bed joint. Then once he's done that, I'm gonna. Um, the reason I've got my mask on is I'm gonna be um, cutting the box because in that side, as Dad's probably already said, there's a taller gap because we've taken box out instead of bricks. So I'm gonna cut some 65 mil strips of a uh, block, and that should do us to fill in that. Hopefully that means the next one lintel will be easy to put into with a, um, more of a gap for us to uh, reach in. More room for our fingers. More room for our fingers, yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in a minute then. Right, this is all set for Alex to tidy up. Once we've got the inside lintel in. It's all in, that is absolutely solid that. It's all been pointed in with the top pointer. And because it can get to the back side of it, it was all coming out the back, so it's nice and full, and I've just flushed it all up. So that's going nowhere. So yeah, um, all the shite is going in tongue bag at the front, so ready for when the skip comes. Um, and blocks are going in the van, on to the next job. So um, yeah, once that's in and up, Alex can crack on with the tidying up and I'll get and get on with putting the piecing up and um, getting it all pointed up. So we'll take you inside, put you on a time, that's why I get this one in. Alex just making a brute. Awkward as ever. That's jammed in against the acro. That's jammed in against the acro. Got our plank. We're going to come in, send it up that way, onto that cupboard. Make sure we put something on top of it, as far as we can get it, past this acro. And then up and in, behind that. Behind that um, cable sheathing. That's the metal stuff so you don't catch that because it'll cut you. Yeah, so plonk it on and then put the caution blocks on that Alex has cut for me. And while I'm getting that finished, Alex is going to get the tidy up done. And we're going home. And that is job complete. Right, anyway, we're done. All packed up, all pointed. So this is where the door's coming out. There's our seating. Same here. That electric's just on the jam, so no need to move the electric. It's right on the edge, that socket. 
So yeah, it's up to the Robbies to take this down. We're not, we're all done now. We're completely finished. Once we've tied it up, and they're out of here. So see you in see a little bit for the outro. There you go, there's our dimensions. There's the door, cut out ready. Lintel in, both skins. And there's the uh, the finished product. It's a hell of a space. This has been actually been an enjoyable one, this hasn't it, Alex? It's a very fun extension. Yeah. Seems doesn't seem five minutes since we're down in the mud, does it? Smashing the front of the house with the digger. That was you. Why we the camera? That was you. <laughs> right, let's go outside. Mm. Here we go. There's our two then in. They do look different, but they are the same bricks. Ravenhead, Ibstock Ravenhead, Brack and Brown. They would have been steely back when they were made. It's changed its name that many times. Here you go. Nice big wall to go up. We enjoyed that. There's the concrete that took some getting out, reinforced concrete. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can't show where they are because it's all covered up for the weather. But this actually might not be the final outro because by the time I edit this video, I probably would have been, I probably will come back because uh, Robbie and Robbie will have the roof and windows in before this gets edited so stay tuned and then um, hopefully when this when my hand goes away there'll be a, a finished concept there and as promised we're back you may recognize this one from um, this one was October last year so um, this is all complete I just need a bit of a brush there with the water Last time you saw this, it was just finished, it was covered in plastic, it was pouring down. But yeah, it looks fantastic. We're going around the side. It's got a nice lean to roof on it. Absolutely made up, the customer's made up too. So, let's get around here. Just over the, uh, the dog barricade. Coming through here. So, there's the lintel you've just watched. So it's now open plan out the kitchen. And here we go. French doors. It's a nice big room. Just put the telly up. Here's the front window. And there's the special, special bit. Huge windows in the ceiling. That's everyone's favourite feature is the vaulted ceiling. Absolutely fantastic. Surely agree this is another lovely extension. Another one to be proud of. Another one for the Robbies to be proud of. Because obviously they get credit for all this bit. We just build the shell. But yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So I'll leave it there. If you enjoyed the videos, make sure you click that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we upload a video. So there you go. Another beautiful extension complete. See you in the next one. Based. Free my mind.
So this video is kindly sponsored to us by uh, Keystone Lentils. Yeah. Kindly sponsored to us. Don't worry about that.